10 Biblical Facts That Everyone Is Wrong I love religious lists especially those that contain facts or refutations. In memory of a very popular list that actually allows people to make mistakes. I put this list together, inspired by the same excellent source. Don't forget to add your own outlets to the comments, and when you're done, check out the top 10 misconceptions about the Bible. 10. The Fact Adam and Eve As opposed to prevalent thinking, Adam and Eve were exiled from Eden not on the grounds that they ate the illegal organic product from the tree of information on great and malice. Yet to keep him from eating from the tree of life both taboo trees are found in beginning 2 to 9, which would have made him endless. God doesn't care for rivalry. Here is a stanza, beginning 3, 22 to 23, and he stated, Observe, Adam has become as one of us, knowing great and abhorrence, presently along these lines, in case he loosen up his hand and take likewise of the tree of life, and eat and live for eternity. 23. And the Master God sent him from the heaven of pleasures to develop the land from which he was taken. 9. The Fact Jonah and the Whale All know the story of Jonah and the Whale, however how well do we know it? All around okay to realize that he wasn't eaten by a whale. It was no vertebrate that ate Jonah, it was an enormous fish, however its sort isn't referenced. Obviously, I am assuming that everybody perusing this rundown realizes that a whale isn't a fish. 8. The Fact Samson and Delilah Samson and Delilah is a famous story from the Old Testament which ends rather badly, as Samson's long hair is cut short to destroy he his strength. The common misconception is that Delilah was the one to give him the chop, a kind of ancient bobbert if you will. But in fact, it was Delilah's servant who did it. 7. The Fact Delight Rapture is not in the Bible. Although it was believed by a large number of Protestants, many of whom also believe that only what is in the Bible can be true. It was actually invented in the 1600s by a certain cotton mother, also known for killing women by strangling him to death by hanging, at the Salem Witch Trials. The term in the Bible usually incorrectly translated to rapture, actually comes from the Greek harpazo, which actually means caught or led away, and it only refers to one person, Philip. 6. Fact 3 Wise Men There were not three of them, and they did not visit Jesus in the manger. The Bible does not give any number of people, but it makes the number of gifts equal to three, which is probably the reason for this error. In addition, Herod demanded the death of all boys under the age of two, making it likely that Christ was born two years earlier. In addition, sages visited Jesus when he lived in the house, according to the biblical account in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 2 verse 11. 5. The fact get rich quick. The Bible does not condemn the use of alcohol. Remember that Jesus' first public miracle was turning water into wine at a wedding, gambling, and betting. The closest thing to the latter is a recommendation to abandon quick schemes of enrichment, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 10, and excessive love of money. Be sure to keep this in mind the next time you sip wine at a local casino. Adding. The Bible does not condemn the use of alcohol, this delusion is a relic of Calvinist and Puritan Protestantism, which has made its way into Methodism, etc. The Bible says do not drink the fruit of the vine, at the same time. Many skeptics will claim that the water was turned into grape juice, but the original Gospels clearly use a word that translates from Greek as wine, fermented grape drink. Addendum, courtesy of Kara 23. Traditionally, drunk means to fall drunk, in other words, to lose the will to self-control. For the fact, help. God helps those who help themselves, is a wise and good quote that everyone knows from the Bible. It was man, not God, who invented the well-known, and often used proverb. It was Benjamin Franklin from Poor Richard's Almanac. 3. The Fact Brothers Keeper Another quote we all know from the Bible is, 
Am I my brother's keeper? Now ask yourself, do you know what God's answer to this question was? You don't know. Nobody knows, because the Bible doesn't tell us what he answered. If God had answered, we can assume that he would have been in the affirmative if all the other commands to take care of our brothers in the New Testament had been taken into account. Two Fact Christmas Trip The Virgin Mary is not described in the Bible as traveling to Bethlehem on a donkey. The Gospels do not mention the mode of travel used on this journey at all. The first mention of her riding a donkey comes from the non-biblical Proto-Gospel of James, which you can read here. It was written around 150 ad and is also one of the oldest works describing Mary as a virgin both before and after the birth of Christ. The exact quote from the Proto-Evangelium reads, And he, Joseph, saddled the donkey and put her on it. Fact 1, The Horned Moses. This was mentioned in passing in the comments to previous lists. But it definitely deserves a mention here. Unlike most of the misconceptions given here, which relate specifically to what the Bible says or does not say, this misconception concerns the translation of part of it. The Old Testament says that Moses had horns on his head after he climbed a mountain to see God. This prompted Michelangelo to sculpt it with horns. Many people believe that this was due to an incorrect translation of the description of Moses, but this is not really the case. And what is the reason for this? In Old Testament times, a person who was believed to have seen or been touched by God was described as having horns or rays of light emanating from his head. It was an ancient symbol like today's gloriole.